Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Katie. I'm a full-time reseller, full-time, part-time, whatever time. I just sell when I can and I went to Goodwill today. It's been a while. It's been a long while since I went into Goodwill shopping for things to actually resell. I've been popping in a few times because um, I'm trying to do a little breakfast nook over there. If you follow my TikTok, you'll see my progress. But I've been looking for furniture and stuff, but I have not browsed the shoes or the clothes in a while. Because, as you know, I'm reclaiming all my stuff from ThreadUp. So I'm drowning in stuff. And I've just been feeling super overwhelmed and down on reselling. I've not been making money like I should, and it is starting to affect me. So I was like, I need to get in there and go find some things to be excited about you know, get back on the reseller train. I need to make money. So that's where we're at. Um, I found some cute things, nothing that's going to make me rich or absolutely crazy, but I found some cute things that will do good on Poshmark. This is all for Poshmark. So if you like any of this stuff, you can find it in my closet probably tomorrow. I'll list it all tonight and tomorrow. So let's jump right into it. I spent a total of $31.61 and I bought seven items. Um, I am going to repost at the end of this video like numbers and what I expect to make and stuff, but I am going to post screenshots of what it last sold for on Poshmark over here. So expect that. I'm not going to know what it is right now, but just know it's right going to be over here somewhere. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> Okay, so these, we actually used to own these for my son. They are an older style, but I put them back and then as I was checking out, I looked over at them because the shoes are next to the register. I was like, I'm just gonna grab them. They are some children's tacos, size three, which is my son's size, but these are like so tight on him and hard to adjust to his feet. Like his feet are wide and these just don't work for him. But I figured I would sell them so kids chacos size three they're like green Ta -da! i gotta kind of hurry because i gotta go pick up them in just a little bit um these were pretty cute i really like these these are by kelsey dagger they are called the jet suede clog they're like a peach color so cute for fall they are in excellent condition they're size seven and a half i did see and now I'll post the what they last sold for, but like a really, really quick search, I saw that somebody has a new pair listed for $69. So if I had to guess, I would sell these in the $30 to $40 range, but the proof will be over here. <laughs> so yeah, Kelsey Dagger Clog, size seven and a half, super cute for fall. Okay, next. Okay, now some of these things are going to surprise y'all. I went for cute, trendy things I think will sell this season. Stuff like that. A couple things are a little out of season, but you'll understand in just a second. So the first thing I got was this. I know you're going to be like, why did you buy this brand? But it really was just based off style for this one. Wait a second. Where's the... Oh. This is the Ann Taylor Romper. But like the colors are so fall, it's long sleeve. It has the little tie up here, like around the neck, you know? I, I hope this can show up, but how pretty is this? It is a size, it's an Ann Taylor Loft size 14, great size. So this is gonna be so cute in somebody's family photos for fall, I just know it. Like wear this in the pumpkin patch, with a brown hat, like the big ones, you know. So freaking cute. I'm not probably gonna get rich off this at all, but I just, I just like it. Okay, next. This is another Ann Taylor Loft. This, well, this one just says Loft, but you know. It doesn't even tag, so it's a size large. It retailed for $59.50, but it's just this top. I really liked the Everything about it, the material, the print, the style, insanely cute for fall. So, this will be on the flash mark. 
Okay, this one was a surprising pickup. This is Target Wild Fable, which I love this brand. And if the pieces are right, I will buy them. And this was right. It is a tie-dye purple jacket. It's like a little bit cropped. So adorable. I mean, I'm probably going to only make $15 to $20 off this. And that might be high. I don't know. But I just love this. Okay. My Goodwill was swimming with jumpers. And I love buying jumpers. They sell every time for me. But the season's a little off. So I narrowed down my favorite two. If it was summer, I would have bought every one. So I chose two that I thought would transition, you know, into fall best. So that's these. Although we're pretty much ending with fall. We're like dead smack in fall right now. But that's okay. This is Rue Lee, which I've picked up this brand before. It's a size small. It's my favorite color in the world. This is gonna be hard to show y'all. I'm just gonna go slow. But it's adorable. I love this print. And it's like, it feels like um, muslin. If I'm saying that word right, muslin. Yeah, so super cute. Okay, and then the last one I picked up was Billabong, which Billabong is sold at PacSun. But some of their stuff goes for good money because some of their styles are pretty sought after. This is a jumper, but it has like the overall top. And it has like the wide legs. Ties at the waist. It is a size small also. So I really thought this was super cute. This would be cute with like a cream turtleneck or something like chunky, turn it into something fall with some chunky boots. I don't know, something like that. Okay, so that was it. Like I said, I'm gonna post what they last sold for over here. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna update what I expect to sell everything for. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. Hey everybody, it's a few days later and I'm finally updating. I got really busy. We had family come in town for the weekend. So we've been busy and I'm just now updating this. So I just got all the things listed on Poshmark. It took about one hour to list all the items. Um, my total net after Poshmark fees is going to be $144.65 if they sell for what I listed them for. Now, subtract my cost of goods, I'm going to make $113.65 yeah, before I deduct taxes, so just keep that in mind. So, I'll, I don't even, I'm not even going to estimate, but that's what I will make if they sell for what they're listed at, which if you know Poshmark, they probably will not sell for those prices, but I try to price low enough where people feel like they get a deal and I don't have to haggle a lot, but... That's where I'm at. Um, some of the comps that I pulled up previously are not the exact item because I could not find the exact item. So I get the closest item I can or base my pricing off of something else. Regardless, I try to do the best I can with pricing, but in the end, it's my decision. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content where I go shopping, do a haul, and then tell you what I price things for, please let me know below. Um, that's it. Bye, guys.